Yeah, Hub has just gone over to this other caravan to see if he can help out. Um, they've got a few problems, bless <laughs> Hubby, he's always anxious. Um, he doesn't mind helping people out once he's set up and everything. So we've just got back from Asta, so I'm just about to do my little mini haul. We've got a few pieces here and a few different pieces as well. Um, so he doesn't mind once we're set up and everything. Um, he did work a few hours this morning before we went. So, first of all, we haven't tried this one before. This is the mozzarella and tomato sour dough pizza. So, we thought we'd try this one. And then, I'm not going to say the prices because, to tell you the truth, quite a few of these pieces hubby picked up while I was videoing in the store. So, I don't know what some prices are. Um... We've got these these chips to have with it. Um, these are the McCann ones, McCain. We've actually had the pepper ones before and different ones. And you can do those in the oven and to go with that potato salad. So that is going to be one meal. Um, we have not got our tray of donuts, no chocolate and sweets. But hubby looked at me, I looked at him, I knew what he wanted and he wanted his trifle so I said yeah fair enough because I'll only have a little bit and he finished that off. Um, I think we have actually had these before, um, obviously we do like, like the New York um, bagels so we've got the cinnamon and raisin ones and I've got the larger tub of Philadelphia because we tend to get through a lot of that. And like we did last time, um, Hubby picked up this strawberry um, yoghurt. Um, we liked that and then I chopped some fresh strawberries in with it to make it, you know, that little, little bit extra yummy. Got some tomatoes because I brought my bread with me and I brought cheese and things, but I needed some fresh tomatoes. Something else we haven't tried before is this southern fried chicken meal for two. And it's southern fried chicken fillets, chicken bites with sweet chilli sauce, sp spicy potato wedges, barbecue beans and gravy. So I can't remember how much this was. Do you remember? £7.50. Is it £7.50? And I didn't think that was too bad for a meal for two. Um... Something else um, Hubby picked up, um, these are like the lights we've got in our um, garden, they've been in our garden a couple of years now but um, they have um, broken for whatever reason so Hubby's going to try it again so he's bought two lots and they are um, 500 white LED solar string lights, these were 18 99 each and so he's got the two boxes and again we're using my little bread thing that I got from the charity shop and there's my salt and pepper <laughs> so yeah that's um the haul how did it go did you get it sorted yeah it's just a few okay well done anyway so that is my little mini Asta haul oh by the way yes I nearly forgot how did it remind me Yes, we went because there's Greg's in this Asta and we picked up some sausage rolls. Um, I think these were three pounds. As I said last time we was here, we picked some up as well. So therefore a snack either later today or tomorrow. Do we have a little brush? Um, yeah, just kind of brush I think we have. Yeah, I'm going to find them. Um, We do have two gas bottles in the front of our caravan. One is connected to the um, use for the fire and the um, oven and that sort of thing. And the other one um, we have, because we have the extended um, pipe in, that is for when we have our gas barbecue out. So and guess which one runs out first? <laughs> yes, that one does for the barbecue. Um, so it's surprising what we have in here. Everything is just in case, um, different things that we need, um, like the tread things for the legs are there if you need the supports under the legs, especially if you're on, um, you know, especially soft ground or something because it just supports the legs, takes the strain off a bit, doesn't it? Stops them from sinking. 
Um, we have bags there, that's for the piping for the waste and the water. Um, spare piping? Yes, yeah, spare piping. Toolbox, um, we have for different tools and everything. And then that is for the water barrel, although just recently we haven't needed it because we have super pitches. So the um, piping goes straight to the um, tap there so we don't have to empty the waste or the water. Yes, we put a drop of water in that bottle because obviously we like to use the um, shower so we have to store them outside when they're not in use. And as I said, it's surprising what we do need. And we also, um, I think they may, um, unless they're in one of the other bags, we have the yellow um, brick things, don't we, for the tyres. Oh, the chocks? Yeah. yeah, that's this bag here. Oh, that's there then. Uh. They're, the, they're quite large, they've got a slope on them, and they're what you... Um, Chop you know, the wheels, lift the caravan. The caravan up, up isn't it? It's also to obviously level it up as well, and it's surprising what a lot of extra pieces we've got. Do we still have the um, solar powered lights as well that we have when we're sometimes uh, out any distance, don't we? Yes, the, the other end. Don't any right. length of time we have um, lights out as well, especially when we have the awning. So yeah, it's surprising and that's just the wing mirrors um, from the car. We always leave them in the caravan and things like that. So it's just going to get out from when we have the works done. Um, just for that, we're not sure whether, whether it's going to be brilliant for the rest of the weekend. So we said we'll do it as soon as we get back um, from Asta. My little laundry cupboard. Da, 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 da. And it's got studs on. Dimentes. Who? Dimentes. Studs. Got to have a bit of bling. bling. <laughs> a bit of bling, haven't we? So, you're doing a grand job there, my darling. I'm nearly done. <laughs> I said, I'm getting rid of the uh, debris from when we had the caravan done. Yeah, I said that. So, um, yeah, we're all unpacked um, and set up. I've got me, I didn't think my mat would actually fit down this way, but it does. Um, I am going to do a video, I think, this weekend of um, pieces we're getting rid of. Um, do excuse any cables and mess. <laughs> We've got a, a few little hot spots. So normally, we're pretty tidy when we're in the cabin, more than we are at home, actually. Um, so, so, we're all set up. Bought um, some. DVDs and everything like Pro, I had that um, with some money for my birthday and there's a couple more that we still haven't got round to watching for movie nights. We've got The Lone Ranger, these on Blu-ray and The Great Wall. As I said, um, that's why we like to bring the PlayStation because it's gaming, it's DVDs and it's Blu-ray so it's really good. So as I said, um, yeah, so we're pretty much there um, unpacked. Um, we did all that before we had lunch um, and then we went, I say, out to Asta. Um, shot with me with Asta is either before this or after this. And I got brought some different products with me. This is what I had either for um, my birthday or Mother's Day, so I bought that. And one of the things that I sort of shared a picture um, in one of my hauls was this one. It was 179, got it from Home Bargains, and this is donuts and ice cream foam first. We do like these in the caravan. Um, this one, we've got this one here, salted caramel, there. And then the other Imperial Lover is this one. And this one is a raspberry flamingo. And Hubby did like one, I think it, I don't know if it was Imperial Lover or not, or another mate. And it was like an orange one, and that's when he got onto these sort of things. So, yeah, and I bought that set. I, said, I like nice little pieces when I'm in the caravan and everything. Um, I, I don't feel as they get wasted at home, but when the guys get hold of them, do you know what I mean? And sometimes, especially with the shower, it's nice to have nice things for your shower, isn't it? Especially when you've got that extra bit of time to relax and chill out and everything. So, yeah. So um, everything is um, not too bad. 
and organized as I said so um, yeah once this finished that I think we're gonna chill out for a bit I'm not 100% sure what the time is um, I think this clock must be right it looks like it's getting close to five o'clock so yeah just got some Pepsi Max there so yeah and the car's looking really nice because it was cleaned not so long back so it really does sparkle especially when the sun's on it and it really does look lovely so I didn't actually share unpacking and the car again due to the fact that I've already shared that a fortnight ago. I did bring extra jumpers, they're all up there. Due to the fact it's supposed to be really bitterly cold this weekend and originally it was going to be raining all weekend but today it's not too bad. That's why we've been out briefly and it's doing the front of the caravan and we thought we'd get a few bits done while the weather's nice and that we've got our door open um i don't know if you can see it in the distance we have got a couple of um rvs here this week so yeah so i say we're going to probably have some chill out time now and um just relax right so hubby's um cleaned it all out and reorganized so everything's been put back now so a job well done isn't it my darling yeah, it needed doing to get rid of the rubbish. Yeah, so... And the wood bits from when they had the work done. So that job is ticked off at list now. So hopefully um, sometime over the weekend we'll probably do it under our bed. There, he's just putting the hoover away, aren't you, me darling, under right. the bed. Say again? Just putting the hoover away, aren't you, now? Yeah, but somebody's asked me to make the bed up. Yeah. Although... Don't get me wrong, <laughs> we do have, this is the bed we sleep in up here, but it's only a teeny weeny little TV, and through there, as you can see, is our larger TV, and yeah, actually, um, the bed made up at the, the front of the caravan is actually bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Um, more room to stretch out, although hubby doesn't think so once I start stretching out he says I'm only little but it I takes three quarters of the bed up <laughs> yeah but um sometimes when it gets to um afternoon early evening if not before um we do or should I say he makes it up so we can stretch out it just makes it comfortable um the only thing is it's nice having the leather um you know sofas in here but especially when you're hot you do stick to them they can feel cold as well can't they yeah so either hot or cold um but that's what the caravan um came with um we reckon maybe um a previous owner actually recovered them don't we um we're not sure are we it's okay we reckon that they had them covered in leather, don't we? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's the original. I think somebody decided... They know, wanted so. leather, which is really good in a way because it, you can just wipe them down and everything. So, uh, yeah, so this is how the um, bed is made up at the front. When our son comes, he usually sleeps at the front. And what happens is um, this can um, go across and it separates the two um, rooms and also there's a little blind that can come down there as I say hubby did actually fix that TV to he made a bracket and covered it so it looks very similar to the, the wood behind so that one it just stays there we don't have to take it um, down or anything um, so yeah so just a, a little bit extra every time we come we sort of show you different aspects of our caravan especially if you haven't um followed us from the beginning um as i said um we've caravaned now for quite a fair few years this caravan i think it's is our sixth or seventh year isn't it this year yeah of having this caravan and our previous one did we have that about three or four didn't we yeah, something possibly like that. something like that i think we've been caravan at least maybe 10 years now and before that camping in tents on different sizes as well so would you ever go back to a tent probably not why i i like my home from home <laughs> i like my creature comforts like stretch out 
uh, heating, uh, telly. Well, let's face it, once you've got the electrics and you've got your water and everything, um, you put legs down the caravan and everything, you're about set up, aren't you? Usually no, 20 no. minutes. We'll yeah, set up. it takes us 20 25 minutes and we usually set up. So, this is a bit extra. We, you don't have to make the front bed up, but as I said, because of the larger TV um, in the lounge area, it's just comfortable, isn't it? And that we do have a larger table that can come out that's actually kept in a little compartment in the bathroom. And you might have seen that actually under there it slots out um, a leaf um, as a table as well so even if the bed's made up we still got a bit of a table there yeah he often minds about the amount of bedding we have in here <laughs> don't yes. you me darling yes i thought oh, yeah. we was gonna need it this this um weekend because it is supposed to be cold but we've been lucky today haven't we yeah we too bad I do. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain. Yeah, so we're going to see. We're maybe going into Corby Town Centre tomorrow because um, the weather's not going to be brilliant. I still want to go to Prom Market if possible. So, um, for being well, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, as I said, we're, we're sort of ready for anything. <laughs> we, I say, we store two double quilts in our cabin. One is obviously on our bed. And then this one, um, we've got those boxes that we actually purchased from the range in different sizes. Um, because I have said that we measured up and got the biggest um, boxes we can. I probably need to get all this out and give it a good wipe over as well. Um, but these are quite um, long. What I've got to do this weekend. What's that, darling? Oh, we've got a button come off. So that's another. That has to go on the to-do list. Yeah. And then we've got these tall um, baskets, um, boxes that I've got from the range. Um, might go through those and see if there's anything that we're not to use in. Um, and then we tend to store cans of food down the bottom there. And then um, obviously there's our wardrobe. Um, I remembered the coat hangers this time and a few other things that we've forgotten. And I as I said, yeah, but I didn't need any more. I don't tend to have too many Five, clothes. Six, five, yeah, and as I said, we use these little drawers for our underwear. These, I've said before, um, like we keep pegs there. And in this one has extra toothpaste, toothbrushes. I must remember, um, I've got to need to get another shaving gel because the one that was taken out of here last time and then extra products in there this sucker goes on there or well actually goes on the top here normally and then elastic bands loop up so these don't slip out and these velcro to the side of the um wardrobe these are really good because when they're not in use they're collapsible we just keep extra clothing in these and that one back there and also i've got my miniature craft um bag back there as well and right at the back is actually my I don't know if you can see actually behind there I've got my crafting mat there that's bits that I'm going to do a haul of stuff leaving a caravan and just some um, clothes that I've hung up there that's more worth my medication in and I've remembered all the cushion covers as well but we couldn't get the um, cushion pads um, from Asta so I might have to look somewhere else and even look in the range another time to get some new um, you know cushion pads to go in the cushion covers and things like that so that's that so not just change and while well, I've been natting around about our wardrobe hubby's nearing the finished making bed and blankets I do like to snuggle down um, during um, the evening and everything. Don't I, my darling? I'm going to need a drink after this. So, all done. Go on then, you're normally the first one to jump on it. <laughs> no, I don't jump. Okay, you're normally the first one to get on it. I glide. You don't slide, you glide. Yes, I glide. Oh, oh. I've got to take these trainers off me, darling. God, look at the state of those. What's up in there? So, 
You look stunk now. Yeah, but as soon as I take these off, you say, oh, should we go for a walk? Well, do you want to go for a walk before we... <laughs> you did that on purpose, <laughs> didn't ya? Did you want to go for a quick walk? Because I don't think you're going to be able to for the rest of the weekend. Oh, OK, then I'll do my lace up back up then. So I'm just going on a little walk, just so round this bit. I'm with my darling. Yeah. Um, I still have a couple of big ones. bothered now. After all that work. And some fresh air. There's a couple of big RVs here. And we got a tent as well here. Yeah, we got two. Oh, there's a two. There was only one earlier. And uh, farmer's got his cows out. And his cows. Oh. Because none of the animals were out a fortnight ago. And I wondered whether it was down to um, carving and lambing and season. I don't know. So we're just going to walk through this little bit. Yeah. Just in case we don't get another opportunity to get a bit of fresh air. And he had his sheep and his lambs, didn't he, as we come onto the farm. So we didn't see Simon fortnight ago, did we? That's the farmer and his wife's name is Sarah. Um, but they do actually mostly deal with now the um, farm side of it rather than the caravan part, don't they? Yeah, because it, it, it took off so quick. There's all the cars sitting down, yep. laying down. And just here that's fenced off this bit is um, for dogs. Dog walking, isn't it? So they can let dogs off. And there's the cows. say um there is walks to do um but we don't tend to do them do we not when we're here just the weekend it's good to relax after working all day all week i should say it's nice to come and just relax get your bit that you need to do in the caravan done and that's it you can relax it's party time as i said nice um coke. it does get busy for the weekends doesn't it yeah Um, I think I've mentioned this a few times actually, this is a no kids site, I think it's for insurance purposes as well, um, which to tell you the truth, except for a granddaughter sometimes, it's a shame really, but on the other hand, um, we've had our share of problems and I'm not knocking um, children at all, um, but we've actually have had to make complaints before when parents haven't looked after their kids, um, we had that incident near it. Um, when parents were sitting next door to us drinking, weren't they, my darling? And they allowed their kids to kick the ball against the side of the caravan. Oh, that's the again. Yeah. And we did make a complaint and they weren't very happy. Um, we actually made it to the reception that time because they, we kept telling the parents to ask them to um, call their kids back um, because they were actually in our little pitch, weren't they? Plus, they were putting in stakes, weren't they, my darling? Yeah. And if our tyres had got ripped on those stakes, um, it'd be very costly. Yeah, we're just having a little investigation. We did actually mention this last time we came. Um, well, I don't know about to you viewers, but I did to hubby, that this used to be a barn just here. It's actually a... Um, um, static now, isn't it? 
so we don't know if that's something because um yeah um it used to have a lot of barn more well, barns didn't they and that we have uh, hubby says he has but i don't remember actually going down there so we might have a drive down there at some point in it down the lane unless they've got family here my darling staying on site so yep and they're the pods uh, when they were first um built um i did actually share a little bit of footage um and the previous uh, mantress and I think was going to allow us to see well to actually view it um for my channel but then we went on to lockdown so um that sort of went out the window so I haven't bothered them again plus it's new staffing isn't it darling yeah so that is that bit of traffic is that um lane there I don't think we have been along there darling I don't remember going that way Uh, as I said, it is a nice sight, isn't it? Especially just to come that few miles um, from lock up. I say, it takes us an hour to get from our home. And then when you listen, and you haven't got the, the traffic, fence. yeah, you haven't got the traffic, yeah. Um, it takes an hour to get from home to the lock-up and get the caravan out of lock-up. That's if we haven't got to go at any distance and having to put the towing cover on. Um, but then um, it's, what, 10, 15 minutes, if that, then from lock-up to here. So it doesn't take that much long. So that's why we like coming here for weekends. And just feels though you're away from home. It's different scenery, isn't it? Yeah. So there we are. There's the site. So we're just coming past. I'll say there's um, sinks, laundry there, the showers and toilets there, receptions there. But the showers are closed. Yeah, showers are still closed. You can use the toilets. I think um, they'll open on the 17th. Yeah, but we don't mind because we've actually got our own shower and everything, haven't we, toilet? So it doesn't bother us so much. So I say, just having a little trek. And I think they can't wait until they can open all this up. Now it's all finished, isn't it? Yeah. I say, um, and there's the veg place just there, which will be open up tomorrow with all the veg and everything. I think the and then, there already. Yeah. Just covered up. I know the lorry was there earlier, and then the shop's next door to that. And then they've got the car parks over here. They do have car rallies here, don't they? Yep. As well. Um, not so much last year. Um, but this is all been done new, isn't it, for the Shia? Yeah. Um, well, he started, it, he started it last year and I think it's finished yeah. it off now. It seems, so that's what we like about the farm and what Simon and Sarah have been doing due to the fact that um, they do invest in their land and everything because these are all... Um, Solar panels. Solar panels, that's what I was trying to... That was one runs the uh, campsite, all the uh, electric and heating. Yeah, and here's all the Hot water. sheep and everything. Isn't it me, darling? We uh, try not to make them skittish. As I say, these went all out of weeks ago were they oh. I guess he um, says he's to mow 
these lawns, isn't it? It's grass. We often usually see him, it doesn't matter what weather he's in, on his little tractor, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Cutting the grass. And these solo panels, they actually provide um, all the power, don't they, for the shell block and uh, the heat and everything, don't they? And the water, heat and the water up. I'm not sure about the rest of it, um, like the farmhouse or anything, or whether it's just... Oh, look, they come to see us. Don't you dare say it. Two words. Mint sauce. That's not nice. Quite young one. Mm. No, we haven't got any food. The uh, coat's not very big. Mm. Not thick compared to the, the others. Some of the others, yeah. Yeah, that would have been tomorrow, but I don't know so much now because we've got trifle, haven't we? That's really the trifle tonight. <laughs>